Hello, this is Kate from DailyTarotGirl.com and this is your weekly tarot card reading. And for this week's reading, I am using the Modern Witch Tarot. So I just picked this deck up at my local metaphysical shop and uh, this is the first reading that I'm going to do with it. So I'm excited to take this deck for a test drive. All right, so I'm going to draw three cards. Each card is going to represent a portion of the upcoming week. And my intention with this reading is just to get some fresh ideas and, and new ways of looking at the week ahead. So let's begin. Um, okay, let's start with the first card. This is for Monday and Tuesday. All right, so here we have the bit of glare here. Here we have the Two of Swords for Monday and Tuesday. So Two of Swords, oh, this is such an interesting card. Um, so a couple of things here. Number one is the Two of Swords can represent needing to make some sort of a decision and feeling torn, feeling like you don't have enough information to go on. The blindfold to me represents the need to block out distractions and go within because sometimes we may never have enough information to make, you know, an informed decision. Uh, sometimes we may never feel like we, we know all the, the moving parts and know all, all the facts and all the possibilities before we make a decision. Um, and so in those situations, we need to rely on our intuition and on our, you know, what I would call a sixth sense. So, you know, there's the obvious way of getting information, which is by um, using, you know, your eyes, your ears, <laughs> all that, and gathering information. But then there's this other layer, this other way that we get information, which is what we call our sixth sense, where we, we feel into the energy of things and we, we pay attention to how we're responding to certain information. And so that's what the Two of Swords is about, in my opinion. It's about having to make a decision, but needing to rely a little, perhaps a little more on your intuition than you may feel comfortable doing. So that's what I get with uh, with the Two of Swords for the beginning of the week. So beginning of the week, um, for some of us, we'll be struggling to make a decision. For some of us, we won't be making decisions, but we'll be tuning into our intuition in a bigger way than we normally would. <laughs> My cat Henry is just going bananas and I don't know if you can hear him. He's, he's playing with a toy in the background. Okay. Middle of the week, Wednesday and Thursday, we have strength. All right. This is a beautiful card. I like this one. Okay. So strength is, strength is all about, well, it's about strength. <laughs> it's about being strong, you know, tapping, tapping into your own inner strength. But it's also about being able to tame the beast within. I see the lion, this docile, calm looking lion in the strength card as really in many ways representing the parts of ourselves that may be kind of wild, that might be um, instinctual, and this can represent like uh, fears, anxieties, desires, all of that. We all of us have, you know, part of our a part of ourselves that is domesticated, and then part of us that is really wild. And this lion represents the the wild part of ourselves and the woman represents the, the tamer kind of more domesticated um i'm going to say socially acceptable <laughs> parts of ourselves it's the part that we show to the world whereas the lion is the part that sometimes we might repress and we might not fully be aware of and so strength is about treating that wild instinctual part of ourselves with gentleness Instead of trying to push that part of ourselves down, allow it a little bit of breathing room and get to know that part of yourself a little bit instead of always 
repressing it or pretending that it doesn't exist. And um, so, so the message, the overall message I'm getting with this card is really be kind to yourself and seek to soothe the parts of yourself that might be overcome with an intense sense of fear or anxiety or desire or longing and really be gentle and, and treat treat that part of yourself at, like this maiden is treating this line. Let's move on to whoops, the end of the week. So this is the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And here we have the hanged one. All right. So the hanged one. The hanged one is... Um, Huh, it's interesting because the Two of Swords is somewhat similar to the Hanged One in a way in that there's this point of pause and indecision and like, oh, where do I go next? Whereas the, with the Two of Swords, you're trying to decide what path or what direction to go in. Whereas with the Hanged One, you can't go in any direction because you're, you're tied up. Um, the only way, the only direction left to go in is inward instead of outward. And that is essentially what the hanged one represents. So even look at this tree. There's like one branch, one part of the tree going here, one going there, and then there's the trunk. The hanged one is aligned with the trunk, with the center thing. And I, and I see this horizontal line at the top as representing the horizontal um, journey of our lives, you know, from start to finish, from getting to one place to another place. We all have that sort of horizontal journey, but then there's the vertical journey, which is um, the journey inward and in getting depth and being present and getting to know yourself more. And that's kind of what I was talking about with strength. Strength is about self-knowledge and, and getting to know yourself better, getting a better understanding of yourself. So here with the hanged one, we have yet the same message kind of reiterated in a slightly different way about, sorry, I just heard a really weird noise in my kitchen. <laughs> it sounded like the stove. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on there. I'm the only one at home right now, so like, <laughs> there's no one in the kitchen. What was that noise? Um, sorry, I lost my train of thought. What was I saying? Oh yeah, so, so the message of the Two of Swords was about going inward. Strength, again, was kind of about, you know, paying attention to some of the the inner wild aspects of your of yourself. And the hanged one, again, is about going inward. It's about, um, it makes me think of that saying that um, you can't change others, but you can change yourself. And you, you can't, sometimes we find ourselves in a life situation where we don't have a lot of control uh, on the outer things. You know, we can't change the circumstance, but we can change ourselves and our response to the circumstance. And that's what the hanged one makes me think of. It's it's that your point of power is always within. You know, you can always alter um, and work with your inner self and the way that you respond to things and the way that you deal with things. And I feel like there's another message here. Um, because this card has come up for the weekend, I feel like the message is kind of like, you know, don't fixate too much on trying to control or change the outward aspects in your life this weekend, but focus more on the inner stuff. Uh, and you may feel like you're forced to kind of do that anyway, if you can't, if you don't have a lot of control out of the outward circumstances. Um, yeah, okay. I feel like this is kind of, especially with the hanged one, this is kind of a spiritual card. And sometimes the hanged one can even represent enlightenment and, and getting a sense of being enlightened or at the very least, uh, maybe not full on enlightenment, but seeing things from a totally different perspective. Because remember, the hanged one is upside down. Um, so, you know, she's seeing things... Um, from the opposite perspective of what she would normally see things. So let's look at these three cards together. They seem to be, well, there's an interesting perspective. She's got the blindfold on. She's kind of going inward, whereas 
uh, the hanged one is upside down, no blindfold, but upside down so that her view is topsy-turvy, kind of different. Um, and then strength, they're just kind of looking forward. Um, so overall, the message I think overall is about going inward. I feel like I'm always telling people to do that. I feel like that's what I'm <laughs> always getting from the cards. Maybe this is my reader bias. Maybe this is something I'm kind of fixated on. I do think there's a sense of going inward, but I also think that there's um, this need to incorporate and acknowledge um, maybe your subconscious and more wild instinctual aspects of yourself as well. And that's going to look different for everyone. You may start to keep a journal um, and, and you know, use that journal to journal about your, your desires, your fears, um, your, your uh, intuitive hunches and ideas and things like that. Um, or you may just take up a meditation practice um, or, I mean, there's a million ways to, to, to commune with your, your sort of wild instinctual self. But those are just a couple that I that come to mind. All right. Um, so that is it. So I hope you found this reading helpful. Um, by all means, feel free to share your own take on these cards in the comment section below. And I want to say thank you so much for watching. Again, I'm using the Modern Witch Tarot. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful week. And you can find out more about tarot cards and learning tarot on my website, dailytarotgirl.com. I'm gonna put a link to my website below this video and check it out. I've got tons of fun tarot learning resources on there. I've got tarot spreads, tarot deck reviews, tarot exercises, all kinds of fun stuff. So thanks for watching, have a good week.